Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Library of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Spontaneity of Oxidation in Nature Part 6, Dehydration. Oxidation is a process in technical term of loss of electron energy. In common language, we can use it as a process of decomposition. The opposite of oxidation is reduction. Oxidation does not require energy, reduction does. Oxygen does not require outside cues or triggers, reduction does. If you watch the other segments of this series, oxidation, spontaneity of oxidation in nature, I think it will help you deepen your understanding of how energy is produced how energy is utilized, either for health or for losing health, either for getting diseases or for increasing the severity of diseases or for reversing diseases. Nature has made everything in the human body, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. For the professional reviewers, I would recommend the first volume of my 12 volume textbook, Nature's Preoccupation with Complementarity and Contrariety. It's a large volume, but it is an important subject, so I devoted so much time to it. Let's come back to dehydration. When we are dehydrated, our bodies are acidified, our cells are free radicalized, our bodily fluids are thickened, whether it is lymph outside the cells or it's fluid in the cells or it's fluid in the brain which bathes the brain cells, or it is venous blood, arterial blood, fluid in the bile in the liver, pancreatic duct, and so on. Spontaneity of oxidation means that if we can trigger the hydrating mechanisms, they will grow by their own momentum. Oxidation of spontaneity of oxidation also means that if we make a mistake of triggering the dehydrating mechanism, they will also grow on their own momentum. Our spontaneity in essence makes good things better and bad things worse. For example, if you in the morning do Dr. Ali's breakfast and start your morning with a large glass of water with some supplements, some rebounding, gentle exercise, come back, Make Dr. Ali's breakfast, lecithin, flaxseed, vegetable juice, protein drink. Take a large glass, go back, do some exercise, gentle rebounding. Take another glass, do some weightlifting. Take another glass of that supplement. That Dr. Ali's breakfast, go do your shape or get ready for the work. You know, all of those things, in every step, you are initiating healthful steps and spontaneity of oxidation makes sure that the good effects will continue to multiply and become deeper and deeper. On the other hand, if you wake up in the morning, you're dehydrated, you'd have coffee and then you have donuts. What you've done is you have initiated dehydrating, acidifying, oxidizing, free radicalizing, bodily fluid thickening mechanisms and spontaneity of oxidation will make these bad choices have worse and worser consequences. So look at oxidation, spontaneity of oxidation in nature as nature's evolution's wonderful gift that it has conferred on your body at all cellular level, at all molecular level, at all energetic levels. Whatever little good you do, it amplifies and enhances the benefits of that. On the other hand, if you have a misstep, it also pays you a bigger and bigger price for that misstep. So now you're beginning to understand that either you can harness this phenomenon of spontaneity of oxidation in nature to stay hydrated or worsen the state of your dehydration. That will cause more insulin toxicity. That will cause more acidity. That will cause more problems in the brain, more fatigue more problems of confusion, memory problems. If you have interstitial cystitis, it will make it worse. If you are a young man with recurrent prostatitis, it will make that worse. If you have irritable bowel syndrome, it will make it worse. 
please watch this is my special request to you please watch all the segments i've arranged them in such a way from simple to increasing complexity and increasing clinical relevance and in each segment i'll give you some clinical pearls something that you can take home today and implement it and if you said i'm going to be a student of this channel spontaneity of oxidation in nature and nature i'm going to give myself two weeks every day i will select one segment hopefully you'll go from part 1 part 2 part 3 and so on you will get so much more information from this you know when i'm presenting this information let's say i'm talking about alzheimer's disease or parkinson's disease or i'm talking about uh, heart palpitation i cannot break my thoughts and spend 3 minutes defining what an oxidation oxidant is what an antioxidant is why oxidation is crucial for health why antioxidants are crucial for health why oxidants are actually more important than antioxidants for health you need to understand that i have often said in my programs that the worst danger that our children feel in the world is perverted information they are being deliberately dumbed down by the fear profiteers who control our television and radio airwaves and the news print what is a father going to do what can a mother do they are being overwhelmed with deceitful information to sell the products by the companies which engage in such deception children's health core a non profit foundation was funded by talat and me some years ago with the explicit vision and mission of offering authentic information to people all over the world free of cost free of corporate deception to to students children mothers fathers grandparents teachers hopefully some government officials who still have a little spark of honesty and integrity left in them and they may want to use authentic information here to serve the people who elect them please forward this youtube segment to your email facebook linkedin or twitter contacts visit our website www.kids123.org k i d s 123.o r g there is so much information and we tell you how you can participate in our vision thank you so much thank you